Okay, so we're back again and we have the low a BMI voice um, as well as the Puta lipstick on full display. At the beginning of this video, um, I would like to say she includes her cameo, but there was like a new uh, edit that she included. I don't know if she's like in a goth mood today. It was kind of uh, had a goth feeling to it. She's like a poser, goth poser. Anyways, uh, she's with the cameo. She's basically trying to exploit her diabetes. That's my opinion about it. I mean, there, there's no other reason if you're actually that ill, if you're having a full blown um, edema episode like Chantal was having, which was obvious from the video prior of her in the car with the bootleg Ray-Bans on. Um, no better way to make money than to exploit a medical emergency. So congratulations. Congratulations. I can't speak today. Congratulations, Chantal and Glitter Tits. Way to go. The video. So behind me, I have some roses and a cat. Can't get any better than that. Oh, yeah, my plug. I disagree. Uh, dogs can be better than that. So what I have for you are just some random clips that I took very few clips from the clinic, uh, from the hospital, mostly the food, but a bit of the surrounding. And on the way to the clinic, um, we stopped and we saw some date trees. Being from Canada, I've only seen dates in the trees at the park and they were covered in some netting, but you can actually see the minute. actual. Is she saying that she observed uh, date trees in Canada covered in the netting? Or is she referring to the date trees that she first saw in Kuwait? I don't know. I'm confusion dates here and unripened dates they are eaten here and they're called bala and when they're ripened they become brown and wrinkly like we all know and when they're unripened they're actually they're sweet and they taste kind of date-ish like date like but they're juicy i actually like them raw as well so so we know you like everything raw especially raw dogging green peen this is current present time how i'm talking to you right now as you can see, I have my makeup back. I'm back on camera. Wait. Uh, I'm feeling. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> you've been on. You haven't left. You had your episode, and you've been on camera. So this isn't just like poof, a magical appearance by uh, Chantal, Miriam, Foodie Beauty, whatever the fuck your name is. You've been here all along. Well, I'm feeling healthier, and that is probably because the medications are working. The antibiotics. And I'm sorry. Excuse my language. I had a pretty bad kidney infection. For those of you who are not uh, aware of what happened, I had a pretty sure. bad kidney infection. I did have one not even a month ago. I think what happened was it never fully resolved. You know what's funny? <laughs> yeah, it never fully resolved. Uh, diabetics sometimes have a problem with uh, kidney infections. It's either that, Chantal, you're out of control diabetes, or uh, you got a dirty cookie down there. I'm kind of going probably both sides of that. That's maybe also the doctor said that could have happened as well. And also just that my blood sugars have been really high. So if there's two things that I'm, well, three things I'm really trying to fix. Um, number one <laughs> being the, the infection, because that can cause your blood sugars to remain elevated. My blood sugars are Excuse fluctuating. Like they go low, lower. Excuse me. So you're going to blame <laughs> the kidney or bladder, whatever infection you apparently have you're gonna blame that on your high blood sugar levels okay so they go high and you know they usually are pretty high right now uh, despite state being on my medication and everything else oh and so God. i'm trying to deal with that i'm trying to deal with that. the medication the pill the metformin is not gonna work especially if you continue to eat like a pig and eat all that crap food that you're not supposed to eat it's not gonna work Chantal so <laughs> this is what irritates me so much about her is the the misinformation high blood sugar and I'm also trying to of course tackle this weight issue so how? and get on a proper <laughs> diet plan for that proper diet plan I thought you weren't gonna diet now you are <laughs> so I was put on insulin and Gee, uh, so far it doesn't seem to be very effective but you put me on a low dose of like first of all the dose that you're at i think you're taking like five 
usually though like when you they first start you out this is just from my experience with my husband they start because he was on the metformin didn't work not because he was eating like you Chantal but because it's genetic for him uh they started about like I think like five or six and then you kind of like slowly increase it because they want to get uh your blood sugar to a specific level you you have full-blown diabetes and you're continuing to eat crap there's no the insulin isn't going to work for you Chantal and not only that you don't get up and move around so your your body's like a machine you need to like rev up the engine now and you know now and then for it to function properly for everything to get moving you know your organs your brain your heart everything you need to move you do none of this so you know like i said i wouldn't be surprised if they create a uh, entire new diabetic category for you congratulations that's going to be your legacy like super diabetes trailblazer five units so i'm injecting myself with that but which is um, normal i have an appointment later today and so i'm going to show you um the vlog just look the little bits here and there but i first wanted to just come and do an introduction because i didn't shoot one of those and uh i just wanted to let you know how i'm feeling now so um i'm guessing this is i'm just going off of here here in california we have um kaiser permanente that's the insurance that we have and kaiser permanente is really 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 strict on you know keeping um their clients healthy they they really like diet exercise healthy weights um if you're diabetic you know they make you take diabetic classes they make you take nutrition classes um so they're really so i'm assuming i don't know because she hasn't posted it yet that that's what the class is that she um is going to possibly be taking i don't think she's gonna do it she might go to one and then that's it um they're gonna teach her you know kind of things about the insulin uh how to inject where to inject you know things like that taking the blood sugar as well as the nutrition class they're gonna teach her you know about the clean carbs good carbs you know foods to avoid healthy foods all of that stuff which if she does go i'm sure she's gonna ignore all of that information and she's gonna listen to tiktok and wikipedia i am down uh overall since my last weigh-in at the doctor like november 2023 20, i weighed in at 166 and i'm actually when i weighed in this time at the same clinic i'm 150 kgs <laughs> just like a little over that okay the weight loss that shant and this is I, this is just visually from what i see uh it's gonna be sounding like amberlin but this is like truly the case for chantal it's fluid water weight whatever you want to call it when she was in the hospital because she was so swollen that edema got her good they were pumping her full of LASIK. So I guarantee you while she was in the hospital, she was probably pissing like a racehorse every five minutes from all that fluid releasing from her body. That's because her her organs are not functioning correctly because of the out of controlled diabetes. And, and as well as um, when you have edema like that, uh, for the people in her chat saying stay hydrated stay hydrated no that's the wrong thing for somebody like her to do do not stay hydrated you she needs to only um intake a specific amount of fluids per day because if she takes intakes more fluids that increases the edema for her I, I, i'm basing this off my own experience dealing with um heart disease as well as diabetes from my son and my husband um but that was you know since i went to the clinic i didn't eat much for the lot the next three days after sure. that but all I that weight was water again so i know i'll put on a bit of weight um <laughs> i'm waiting to like for my body to adjust to all the medications regulate blood sugar um get on a proper blood sugar regulating that's never gonna happen judging by the live stream that you did you were eating that lentil soup i don't know what the hell that was that you were eating with a ladle and you had that big hunk of bread with two hunks of cheese in it you can't eat like that as a diabetic so and the jar of pickles let's not forget uh f refrigerator pickles as she likes to call them um all of that is a no-no for somebody with edema and out of control diabetes especially the cheese and the bread 
bad carbs, Chantal. I don't, I don't care if it's clean carbs. You shouldn't eat right now. You should be having any of that as well as uh, the pickles high in sodium, very bad for edema. You shouldn't be having, you should, the salt should be completely out of your diet. And that includes anything that is pickled. And I'm sure they're going to tell you this in the class diet. And yes, I know that's going to mean eliminating a lot more carbs than I've been eating. It's um, not only the carbs. That. <laughs> but again, the higher blood sugars right now are probably mostly related to the infection is what the doctor said. That's bullshit. So I'm going to... Uh, that's misinformation, Chantal, because because you have had diabetes for years, four years. How many years ago? Was it like three, four years ago? I remember. I don't remember the exact date, but I remember you were on Ozempic because you had diabetes. And I think this was before... Ozempic really gained popularity as being a weight loss drug. Um, I think it was like right at the early stages of it. So you've had diabetes all along. Your high blood sugar is because of your diet and out of control diabetes. It's not because of a bladder infection, kidney infection. The bladder kidney infection are brought on by the out of control diabetes. Chantal, stop saying things like this you are misleading people and i'm sure some of your subs do not have access to uh medical care depending on where they're at i don't know i'm sure there's some of them and they're gonna take what you say as gospel stop stop saying this crap I work with a doctor come up with a good um medicine plan and then i was medicine given plan. um a Insulin. slip to go to one of the buildings uh, one of the clinics that are in the hospital to partake in a diabetes education program run by like some nurses, I think. So um, diabetic nurses. So I will be excited for that because um, at this point with my blood sugars not going down, like I thought I was doing OK, like, you know, no, how things are, that I thought were OK are not. How are you thinking that you're doing OK? You literally were swollen like the uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. In the video, you go to the ER, you're pumped full of Lasix, you lose about 15, 20 pounds, you look thinner the next day. I, I'm sure it's probably part of it's because of the filters, but some of it's due to all that fluid being released from your body. You proceed to eat cheese, bread, and pickles, and it's visibly noticeable that you gain the fluid back in your face, and you thought you were doing good? Okay. Um, it just depends. Yeah. So I have to really, you know, put more work into it, even more, because um, really, I'm this shocked. time I need to get on the right track and I need to get healthy, and oh, no. that's what my focus Wait. in my life has to be right now. Didn't we hear this like two, two, three weeks ago? We heard the same crap. Sure, Chantal, get on the right path. Sure, the path that leads you to Burger King. That's where you'll be going. Or else there's not really going to be much else to focus on with how sick I've been. You've seen, like, you know, my content and stuff. Like, I don't do much. And it makes it worse <laughs> that it's so hot outside. Like, um, to outside. do any major things, I'm going to have hot. to wait till I'm healthier. And I'm going to have to wait till it's a bit warmer. It's 115 degrees. The, yes, I agree. That is hot. But uh, the gyms are inside. And you have a gym there in your office apartment building. Uh, or you can go uh, swim in the black molded pool. Do something. You could exercise, do do the Jane Fonda workout. I thought you were so pumped and excited to do that. Do that. Uh, colder out, guys, because it's unbearable for Excuse me, it. especially with my health issues. Um, but we will still go, you know, maybe grab a coffee. There's so many things you can do indoors here as well. Like a, sure, as I've said many go times. to the mall. So, all that's that all you being do. said, I guess that's all I want to say. So anyways, that is, um, that's it for now. Oh, I hope you enjoy this shut up. and I'll keep you guys updated as things uh, develop and I'll see you guys later. As Bye. things develop. What, your diabetes develops? Exciting. Oh my Wait, I'm gonna let this play. What is this? What does this say? Wait, hold on. We've been waiting hours now at the clinic. I wasn't feeling well at all. Gee, I wonder why you're wait waiting hours. Probably because you have no insurance. Uh, probably because you're not a citizen of Kuwait. Maybe that's why. 
Jesus, you look horrible. Look at Chantal, look at I was trying to drink water to give a pee sample. You are so big, Chantal, that you can't even sit. Look at your hands. Look at how you're sitting. Look at how big you've become. I mean, for somebody that's so vain and for somebody that's prettier than me, than any other reactor, than all of YouTube, you would think that <laughs> that this would make you want to just completely stop eating food and just, you know, fast for a few months. The state that you're in, Shanta, I am like just completely blown away that you've gained this amount of weight while in Kuwait and you still proclaim to be happy all i see is somebody that has been eating their feelings the entire time you've been in kuwait jeez unbelievable and you <laughs> oh look empty chairs i ended up being sent to the oh, er at the hospital i was started on iv fluids first of all that's not only IV fluids. Yes, I see. It's probably a bag of saline. But right up there, that little bottle you see up there at the top, that's a LASIK, Chantal. That's that's not IV fluids. Hmm. Well, I'm technically, but not technically. How oh, swollen our hands are. My God. An ultrasound. Looks like a normal hospital to me. Okay, let's pause. Uh, this lunch was vegetable soup, broth, low fat yogurt, red grapes, beet salad, chicken breast, rice, and green peas. I don't think this, I, you know what? I'm wondering is this even a diabetic um, meal that they gave her? she said it was i'm i say no i don't think this is a, th th she's lying they didn't give her or this is food that's a lot bad and who knows because for her look at i do not feel up to the beet salad or even eat or even eating all the food except the grapes now yeah it probably is now that i'm looking at it it is a hospital um it looks like hospital food, but the way that she was um, talking about, she was shocked at the healthcare in uh, the hospital, like going to emergency and how it was and stuff. Um, Chantal's stereotypes of life. I don't know what she expected. Did she expect um, the hospital to be um, exactly like the bodega medical clinic that she goes to? Did she expect that? The Middle East has some of the best doctors and some of the best medical facilities in the world. So I don't understand uh, where she got her opinion from. The only way that she has that opinion is because she's racist and she stereotypes um, people. So she probably, in her eyes, thought like the hospital was going to be out in the desert made of a sand hut. Who knows? That's that's not a diabetic meal. Who videotaped this? Well, hello, guys. Hello. So, oh, hey. we came Shut all up. the way to the appointment in the morning because there wasn't like a specified time on the paper. And so, um, apparently, we have to come after two at this specific clinic. So, I'll find out more after. Um, I'm going to just, this is like just a mix of. Probably because the way hospitals typically work is that the morning time they do their rounds, they deal with all their um, patients, Chantal not people like you um so they deal with the patients first and then deal with those type of clinics afterwards but our girl Chantal thinks she's first looks I took along my little journey of being sick we have to nail this we have to get this all under control sure and but yeah I'm taking my health seriously she still has CPAP uh, marks on her face that. uh so yeah um just stay tuned just be patient. I have to be patient as well. And we will see. Patient. Like I have. Uh what do you mean you have to be patient as well? Um, I think the time for being patient is over, Chantal. Uh, your organs are not operating correctly. You're having edema issues. Um, patience is not what you need. You need 
a complete action. You need uh, to go full throttle if you want to save your life, which includes eating healthy, exercise, taking your insulin, getting on a schedule with all of that in order uh, to save yourself. Uh, Not patience. Get out. Get the fuck out. You know, a slip to get some diabetes education, so I'm going to be signing up for that. Um, I have this appointment. I'm going to be She's being gonna be followed getting by doctors TikTok and point. everything, so don't worry. Uh, we will figure this out. It's, yeah, frustrating. But, um... Frust- Anyway, how is this? See, it's frustrating because she's going outside of her comfort zone. She doesn't want to be doing something that she doesn't want to do. She she doesn't like to be forced. So uh, I, I guarantee Chantal will not be going to these classes, these diabetic classes. She will be getting her uh, diabetic education from TikTok. I guarantee it 100%. So that is that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. But overall, I would say the experience, you know, at the Kuwait hospitals uh, are very good. Very, very good. I had a good experience. I just, I don't know, just good, I guess, I don't know what you call it, service from the, the nurses, the doctors, the staff, all that stuff. So I feel you like think I'm it was going to be? be well taken care of and I can keep. What exactly did you think was going to happen there, Chantal? Uh, do you think that they do not have, and especially considering, let me just say this, considering um, the United States has its tentacles in Kuwait because we saved Kuwait, number one. Um, what makes you think that Kuwait wouldn't have some of the top doctors and medical facilities? Uh, you sound stupid. Seeing different doctors if I need to. Like, I don't feel as worried about it. I feel like I can relax a bit knowing that I do have access to healthcare here. That was something I was worried about, you know, just like you know, it just being... Yeah, you do have access to healthcare there. You know where else you have access to healthcare? Uh, your home country, Canada. Uh, what really kind of pisses me off about this as well is that she is using the system in Kuwait not because it's a some unfortunate disease issue that you know came up all of a sudden. This is a self inflicted disease that she's causing herself and she's using up the resources um, in the medical facilities for this versus somebody else who actually needs the treatment she's like literally taking their spot this is why people do not like you types of people that come to the er chantal because you're like literally making yourself sick and somebody who actually needs the care that's actually sick can't get it because you're taking their place very crazy and, and very expensive and just everything so i'm just really relieved about that part and i'll keep you guys updated i know i wasn't going to talk about health but that's like going to be my yeah. whole life right now is trying to figure this out sure get my blood sugars under control get this infection gone because that's affecting the blood sugars majorly the doctor did say that and so now she's you gonna, know see that's she she takes bits and pieces of a conversation and she tries to use it for her, uh, her advantage so now that's going to be the new thing the new thing is it's not going to be the diabetes that's actually making her blood sugar high. It's going to be the infection that's causing the high blood sugar. It's not going to be her atrocious diet that's causing the high blood sugar. It's going to be the infection that's causing uh, causing the high blood sugar. All misinformation. This is why you disgust me. I need to figure it out for sure because, you know... <sighs> figure it out <laughs> it just has to happen so anyways okay so we are going to come back in the afternoon and i'll do another vlog uh so stay tuned bye we are living Whoop. in the age of the oh sorry about that uh whoop. let me skip to that uh so yeah whenever she puts that vlog out let's 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 just see what goes on um, if she films any of the class, I'm sure she will. But I don't know. When was the last time I was in the ER? I don't even remember. Oh, I got bit by a dog. I didn't film it. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.